Medical doctor Dr. Chris Reynolds responds to questions about the therapeutic benefits of wheatgrass. My father has had a foot ulcer for a long time. Doctors want to amputate his toe. Can wheatgrass help? Yes, it uh, certainly can. In most cases, you know, I hate to say all, but certainly in most cases and certainly all the cases that I've seen. Diabetic foot ulcers are, relate to, to the, the high blood sugars in the system and the uh, effect or the, the effects that the, the condition has on these very small blood vessels at the surface of the skin or just under the skin. And these, we call that the microcirculation. And those little blood vessels, uh, small enough to go to each individual cell, um, so you can imagine how minute they are, but they're all controlled, the actual blood flow and the oxygen flow, therefore the oxygen and nutritional flow through those blood vessels uh, is controlled by uh, nerves, tiny little nerves that, that open and close the, the, um, the uh, what would you call it, the calibre of the uh, vessels these little, tiny uh, micro vessels, uh, according to the needs of the cells. And when those nerve endings start to be destroyed, that those blood vessels lose that control, the, the blood becomes static, what we call necrosis, in other words, death of the tissue, or some of the tissue occurs, especially if there's a, a bump or a person injures their foot or something like that, treads on a stone or something. Uh, there's no healing process, there's no blood left there to, to heal that damage or to remove the, the, uh, the blood clot that's left behind. It can be only a very small amount and then the skin breaks down and it, a, a, a small ulcer can develop and then it can go on for many, many years uh, and gradually it gets bigger and it gets deeper. What wheatgrass appears to do, and because when, you, when one of these ulcers develops, the, the base of the ulcer becomes lifeless. It's brown and it's, uh, there's no vascularization or anything like that. And what wheatgrass does, and I've, I've seen this many, uh, on many occasions, we call these neuropathic ulcers. They're like from the nervous system, cause the pathology. You put the, uh, I just use a, a wheatgrass extract and I put a bit, a bit of that on the, just on the floor of the ulcer, you don't need very much. Usually within a week, 10 days, that circulation, you see, you can actually see a, a, um, a return of vitality to the bottom of the ulcer, to the, the, the blood supply, you can actually, and it turns pink. So you know that something's happened. It, uh, what, the, what the extract also does is, is debride the ulcer, it starts to clean it. And this was observed way back in the 1930s in the United States when they were using it on, on diabetic foot ulcers. The healing process can't start without that reoxygenation or return of nutrients and oxygen to that tissue. But this is what appears to be happening. And slowly that ulcer fills, and it, well slowly it can happen quite quickly over six, eight weeks and, uh, and I've had many patients that have, uh, that have had that experience. There are a number of uh, case histories on our website and we're actually running a, uh, a study in, in a diabetic, a specialist diabetic hospital in India, in Chennai, uh, where we have 100 patients with diabetic ulcers. And the reason the hospital is going ahead with this is because they've done about 15 or used the extract in about 15 cases uh, to, uh, and these ulcers have all healed. And uh, so they got quite excited about this and this is how we've, uh, we're now proceeding with that, that study. And um, so we're looking forward to the results of that. But uh, as I always say when I'm talking about wheatgrass, I mean, you're dealing with a harmless substance, essentially a harmless substance. Uh, using it on the skin, some people very rarely uh, have a skin reaction, an allergy or something like that, but it's extremely rare. And uh, so it's, it's a safe thing, it's, it's uh, I mean, wheatgrass is a food, essentially, it comes from wheat. I mean, we eat bread, I mean, this is, it's, a, it's not hardly a toxic, uh, toxic plant. And it's been used for thousands of years in, in history, and it's, it's very, uh, used a lot in Ayurvedic medicine in India has done for, has been for, for thousands of years. That's the, the way that I approach 
diabetic ulcers now and uh, it's saved a lot of patients from amputation and I'm pretty proud of that. I think it's going to help a lot of people in future. There's really no treatment for, for these ulcers. They're, I mean, debriding and, uh, you know, but there's nothing that actively reactivates that blood supply, which is critical to their healing. I think it's really quite a breakthrough. Uh, and I'm, as I say, they were using it in the 1930s and I'm surprised that it's not still being used. I, I wasn't aware of that when I, uh, uh, but uh, there is research to show that that's all, there's, it's been recorded that they were using the big hospitals in the United States for diabetic ulcers and getting very good results. Does wheatgrass minimise the pain or does it heal the ulcer? Oh no, they, no, they fill, they heal. They heal. Uh, people avoid amputation. Um, th there's a very large percentage of these people go on to amputation after a number of years when the, you know, the doctors can't do anything about it. If it's a, a, because what happens is the, the bone it gets infected, you say on a toe or something like that or in the, in the foot. Uh, it's called osteomyelitis and they treat it with antibiotics and things but sometimes it just doesn't work and eventually they just have to remove the, the toe or the, the digit or part of the foot, sometimes the whole foot. So it's not a, it's not a, a matter of the, the circulation in terms of the arterial circulation. It's the, a lot of these patients have good blood supply to their lower limbs but it's when you get down to those micro vessels and I think what happens is that what the wheatgrass does, it regenerates because it regenerates those tiny little nerve endings. I mean, it's got to be doing something like that. Uh, we've seen this in leprosy. We did a leprosy study in India as well, and it's a similar type of ulcer. And we had the same response. And I think 60% of those patients actually, their ulcers healed. And some of them have been there for 30 years. So there's something worthwhile looking at there. I don't know what the bioactive is that does it. I, I wish I did know, but I think there is a, uh, well, I'm pretty sure that what the wheatgrass does, it activates growth factors, and those growth factors help to what we call remyelinate or to re reconstruct those t tiny nerve endings. They open up the tiny vessels, and then this tissue starts to cell by cell, starts to regenerate and recover. And it can be quite quick.